Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! What fuck your hell? pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought, finally! Stop your car, come on, huh? come back, we'll talk. Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davey! Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. Well, I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know.
上男友已已经到了机场，不管他的哪班机，我们会跟上。Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos, start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. All right, everybody pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Some depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man! The thing is blown! Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. Oh, as if I didn't know. Brad. Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot, you saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did, that's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! 
I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! Fuck! Ah, fuck! Ah. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? You motherfucker. So, who are your pals, Trevor? Get out of the bed! Find it! You see it? Don't lie, don't lie! Against you people. You should have gone after the other guy. Trevor, you dick. You started this. Oh, bull. Know you're weak and feminine. Hey, you got the wrong guy. We could have teamed up. We got you, you idiot. More of you? Really? Give yourself up. Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! Phillips went that away! He's getting away! Fuck you, asshole! You're making a mistake! <sighs> Trevor. Fuck! Oh, come on, come you got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. 
And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you are clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! It's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Crack. Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. Crazy man's got the other ones. Come meet me by Glass Heroes and Strawberries so we can do the damn thing. I'm on my way. Tom, how did it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this kid? Man, this motherfucker meant to be man. Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Be careful. Line it up on the truck. My favorite gangbangers. There she is, homie. We straight. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah, scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? About four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie. For a dude that kills dudes, and eats dudes, and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid, or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or, where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. 
Oh, shit, man. Fuck. Does Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, uh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobo. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sick. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of him. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. We have reason to believe you were transporting stolen vehicles. Pull over to the side of the road. Hey, don't forget the head. Man. That was entirely your fault. Those vehicles are stolen! Pull it over! Man, 
Where are you? We're coming up to GOA. Man, the cops is all over us. They slowed us down some. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break-in. You knew there'd be heat? Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. We're taking a ride to the truck stop at Procopio. Roger that. I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing.
Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see, his phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Ooh, too close! Oh, shit! We are women! We are free! We're breathing and for the patriarchy! We are women! Hear our pain! We are women! Hear our shout! We are women! We have no doubt! We are women! We are free! We are Shut women. the we are fuck in. up! Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? <laughs> What's up, up, homie, huh? <laughs> oh, what a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend no. makes a mistake, huh? No. Uh, really? Oh, no. What, oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you... Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act, you little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I, I apologize. I accept your apology, okay? All right, so let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! <laughs> right? Yeah, so fucking you fucking gotcha. Huh? Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny. I'm a fucking asshole. Oh, fuck, I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have just look, fucking... Look, 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 man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all yeah. two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? Friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. I guess. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's going to be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my g -la. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor yeah. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey. Phillips isn't oh. coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! Where's your humanity?
against his will! I'm a fire woman up. Want me to waste the book? There's more guys coming from down there. Come in. There you go. Hit a guy you were talking about. They got you down hard, homie. Yeah, it turns out they really want Trevor dead. Go figure. Motherfucker. Hang in there, Tom. What else am I gonna do? Hey, I'm gonna check around the corner. Can you get yourself down? There's no time to get me down. Clear the corridor first. Uh, I was just beginning to feel it all. Oh, Come on, Mike. We going out 
about this way? We just looking to get out of here, man. of his shit. Yeah. Whew. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your cell city. Ah, uh, Lester. Now how'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kinda. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankton. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh, shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me, he fucks off. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin Weston? Weston? What about him? We delivered the last of them cars, only he ain't paid us yet. Says he's gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. For real? Oh, Franklin, I've had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever. Fucking idiot! All right, then I'll see you. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said. Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the Fez, Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. Ugh. Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? 
When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. Put a beat down on an old man! Yeah, we don't take that! We have a deal hey. with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! It's a pleasure. You fuck what? Where are you going, tough guys? Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. The rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. 
movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're going to love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby, I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie, a real one. Call me. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. I can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank but... God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. Hey, man, what's up? Now, how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. That particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Uh, got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. He should be coming out here soon. Ooh, what's this? Nope. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Here we go. Uh, not our guy. So what do we do? Uh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need.
Something's coming. That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. This it? This is not the car we're looking for. That's the one. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. All the place tonight. You knew traffic was gonna be bad. Why didn't you plan ahead of time? Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. Hey, Marilyn. I cannot believe that kid was next to coming along. Fine, fine. Thing. Sorry, look, um... Only when she needs something. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. I'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Uh, hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. I like your car. Hey, Marlin, I ain't seen you in forever. 
That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip... Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. 